What is up, E heads? That was easy. How we doing, E heads? E bike lovers? We out here. Whoa. We're out here and we're on the Jack Rabbit. We're on Tyron's Jack Rabbit. He's got a whole garage full of cool toys. And uh, we rode ourselves a Jack Rabbit at the old Expo, and it was honestly one of the most interesting bikes I rode at the entire Expo. This is the type of bike I would like to review. Niche little funny bikes. Well, I call it a funny bike, but it could be a serious bike. Uh, it would get some serious use if I owned one. Jack Rabbit Company. Um, yeah, this has its purpose. And it's 900 bucks. And it's very tiny. And it's very light. And it can go on an airplane, people keep telling me. Everyone says, dude, you can take that thing on an airplane. I'm sure you can probably take a Suron on an airplane. If it's your airplane. Um, yeah, we have our full face helmet on. This is hard as hell to ride with one hand. Whoa. Okay, let's not do that. I just wanted to, I just wanted to look over at my, uh, Uh-oh. I'll go over here. Ugh. Damn it. Keep hitting. Those guys had an angry look on their face as if I was on a freaking full-size dirt bike. It's the helmet, man. I'm telling you. You gotta pick a helmet that uh, coincides with loophole culture. Um, we're just heading to the library. I just wanted to make a vlog with this jackrabbit because I think it's cool, it's interesting. It's slow. This, this appeals to me this, the same way that an analog fixed gear bike appeals to me. Very simplistic. It has one brake. It has one mode. In 800 feet, turn left on U and drive. It's tiny, it's light. It'll get you where you need to go. This is a bike that I would spend $800 on and I would never regret it. And I would ride the shit out of it always. Yo, there's a bike path right here. Well, I don't know where it goes, but we gotta take it. Guys, my bus is full of flies. You know, on any given day, there's one to two. I don't know where they're coming from. I caught four of those motherfuckers in there. Get out. Flies are hard to kill too, not like mosquitoes. A mosquito, he sticks you, you go, ah, oh, what is that? And you go, Pfft. blood. There's blood everywhere. And he's dead. And, and he was only gonna live for 12 hours anyways, or whatever it is. God, could you imagine? Could you imagine, imagine seizing the day? When you only have 12 hour, 12 hour lifespan. I freaking love this freaking thing. I wonder what the range is on this. I'm assuming it's close to a bird scooter. Probably, probably 11 to 14 miles. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hey, shuttle much? Dual ACs on the road. Oh, that was a legit one. Every time I see a uh, shuttle bus, you know, the majority of shuttle buses are shuttle buses. But every time I see one, I go, hey, dude, me too. But then it's like, oh, no, you're just a shuttle bus. You work for the city. Here it is. 
I was here earlier today because I can't go more than 12 hours without going to a library for two to three hours. The library is my office. Your destination is on the right. God, I should have brought the charger. Not that we're going to have range anxiety here. Okay. We're here at the office. We look ridiculous. Let's see how this goes. Fun trip to the library. Didn't get much done, but sometimes, sometimes you just don't want to work. Sometimes you just want to look at Instagram or check YouTube comments. Actually, checking YouTube comments is technically work because it helps with engagement. Look, let's see if this guy gets mad. I got a new idea for a video. I'm going to take the smallest, slowest e-bike I can find. Oh, gnats in my eyes. And then I'm going to just wear crazy protective gear. I'm going to wear a full face helmet, protective leathers, racing stuff, racing gears, just a bike like this, and then just take it down a, just take it slowly, you know, I'm talking bicycle speeds, down the bike path and see how people react. See so if they're like, oh my god, slow down. Because this thing, regardless of the rules, regardless of the signs, nobody ever should get mad at this thing on the bike path. Muddy, wouldn't, wouldn't want to get our buddy's bike muddy at all, so let's just, you know, and then we just, yeah, damn, that did not work out how I wanted to, ew, the bike is fine, me, not so much.
Stupid. Lame. Oh, we got a freaking bridge right here. Dummy. Okay, so, the jackrabbit. Is this bike tiny, goofy, with a probably dangerously short wheelbase? Sure. Is it practical? Hell yes. I think this bike is very useful. I think it's very great. For the price would I spend six grand of my own money on a cyber X Zion bike probably not me personally would I spend 800 900 of my own dollars on one of these things that probably can't even go 20 and makes me look ridiculous yes I would without a doubt I definitely would. So that's going to be the vlog. Let me know what you think about the Jackrabbit. I had more fun riding this than I did the Zion bike, honestly. And I want to know what you guys have to think. No promo codes, no nothing. Just a friend letting me borrow his unique bike. So let me know, guys. Jack Rabbit. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's going to be the vlog. Thanks for tuning in. Huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you for supporting the channel, for putting Diesel in the bus, for putting uh, toilets in the back of the bus. Toilets that I use a lot that are great and I don't regret purchasing at all. And <clears throat> feel free to click those like buttons. Actually, there's only one. Click the like button if you enjoyed the vlog, if this was informative. If you buy Jackrabbit online, eh, just might as well tell them, hey, this guy online sent me. His name's Dylan Thompson. He invented loophole culture. Um, yeah, click the subscribe button if this is your second or third visit to the channel. And you maybe, maybe you didn't know you were not subscribed. But uh, check to make sure that you are. Helps the channel grow. And click that notification dinger so you're informed every time that I post a new vlog. Chase your dreams. Peace.